we can convert .NET controls to custom controls and then add them to a palette. Note that creating and communicating with .NET objects in LabVIEW requires the .NET CLR4 that installs with LabVIEW. But if we want to use .NET 2 objects, then we must use .NET 2 configuration file if we want to load .NET 2 mix mode assemblies. Further, it is recommended that if we use .NET objects, we should use them in LabVIEW projects. So let's go and see how we can add a dot net control to a palette. To import a dot net control, let's go to the tools menu. Then from there select import and then dot net controls to palette option. add .NET controls to palette dialog box appears. So from select an assembly from this dialog we can select an assembly and we can also click the browse button to access private assemblies. .NET assemblies are DLL dynamic link library file types. After we select a private assembly, the assembly appears in the assembly pull down menu the next time we launch the dialog box. Please note that if we move a VI that uses a private assembly to a different folder or machine, we either must move the associated private .NET assembly files to a subdirectory that LabVIEW can search or we must save the files in the global assembly cache GAC. If we build a VI that uses a private assembly into a shared library or standalone application, LabVIEW copies the associated private .NET assembly files to the data subdirectory in the same directory as the library or application. Now, from the controls list, let's select some control. Let's select date time picker since it is not available by default in LabVIEW. In the destination text box, either the directory or the library LLB file in which we want to store the control we can select it from here by default the destination is program files national instruments lab view the version you are using then the menus folder then the controls folder and then the dot net and control activex controls uh, palette we will let it remain at its default uh, selected place where it will place the uh, the our, our selected control. Click OK. LabVIEW is adding the control to the palette. Also do, note that we should not save our own VIs and other files in the LLB files installed with LabVIEW. Since when you upgrade or reinstall LabVIEW, another new version, those libraries are overwritten. So let's go and check where our uh, .NET uh, object is placed. Let's go to .NET or ActiveX and there is our date time picker. Let's place it on the front panel. Let's run the VI and see if uh, it is working. It seems to be working. Let's change the 
date by using the up and down arrow key month up and down arrow key year or we can just click this drop down and select whatever date and time we are interested in let's just select today so this is how you can add a uh, dot net controls to the palette and then use them in lab view hope this helped you in your projects in your lab view programming thanks for your time thanks for the visit and keep visiting